Okay. Before we move on to the high school portion or the high school band portion of this, um, I'm going to quickly go through awards. Um, I feel the fans starting to kick in on me. So, um, The first people that I would like to recognize out of um, the high school group um, are the ILBA District 4 participants. Um, please stand and wave when I call your name. Um, from the senior chorus, um, Patrick Dunn. From senior band, Alexander Poe. These students um, went through the same process as what Kylie did. They prepared uh, scales and etudes as well, um, just on a harder level. Um, but they participated back in November with uh, larger groups as well. And uh, they represented Cronville well. The next people that I would like to recognize are our solo and ensemble participants. Um, if you received a three or four, go ahead and stand and wave. I will still um, be recognizing you because you did the thing. Um, and if you received a two or one, come on up and grab a medal. A division four um, in vocal solo, Allie. Using. Division three in vocal solo and trombone solo, Colton Campbell. Division three with a vocal solo, Lana Tosh. And division three with a vocal solo, Regan Cardi. Here are my Division II medalists. Come on up and grab a medal. Regan Cardi and Victoria Barber with a vocal duet. <laughs> Snap a picture, parents. Also with a Division II, Destiny Fontenot, vocal solo. <laughs> with a vocal duet, Patrick Dunn and Emily Barbary. Vocal duet, Adeline Hunt and Julianne Amos. With a vocal solo, Jesse Michael. With a vocal solo, Julianne Amos. <laughs> With a vocal duet, Lana Tosh and Allie Husing. <laughs> and with a trumpet duet, Sam Wilson and Alexis Kalehair. And these are the Division, division One medalists. Adeline Hunt with a vocal solo. <laughs> Kathy.
Catherine DeLong with an alto saxophone solo. <laughs> Hannah Truex with a vocal solo and Cade Vineyard and Hannah Truex with a vocal duet. Jason Peter with a snare drum solo. <laughs> Jonathan Stillwell with a flute solo. Madeline Corton with a vocal solo. Patrick Dunn with a vocal solo. And Riley Owsley with a clarinet solo. Those are all of our solo and ensemble medalists. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> all right, now we're moving on to our big awards of the night. The first award is um, the director's award. This award goes to a senior student who has been a person of positivity since I started working here. He is someone who is reliable, trustworthy, kind to his peers, intelligent, talented, hardworking, and so many other things. This student exemplifies what I believe every director would like to see from their students in a music program. It has been an honor to work alongside this student in the classroom. I knew each game went well and everything was going to be A-OK -okay when I got a high five from the student after the performance. This year's Director's Award goes to Dylan Meyer. The next award is the Patrick L. Gilmore Award. This award is given as a runner-up to the John Philip Sousa Award. Patrick Gilmore was a bandmaster and composer in the 1800s. He is known for being the first American bandmaster to feature the saxophone. This award goes to a senior student who has shown phenomenal music abilities in my time as director. From pit band to regular band rehearsals, this student's understanding of rhythms, notes, musicality, and his ability to take my teaching and learn is outstanding. This year's Patrick S. Gilmore Award goes to Trace Cummings. The last band award that I have to give out is the John Philip Sousa Award. The John Philip Sousa Award also, or John Philip Sousa, also known as the March King, was an American composer and conductor for primarily American military marches. Sousa originally started as a violinist, but started composing on writing music and conducting in the 1880s. Sousa aided in the development of the Sousa phone. Between 1880 and 1892, Sousa led the Marine Band through its development into the country's premier military band, even today. In 1932, he was initiated as an honorary member of Phi Mu Alpha Symphonia, a national fraternity for men in music, 
by the fraternity's Alpha Z chapter at the University of Illinois. Sousa's legacy lives on today. This award goes to a senior student who has shown outstanding musicianship and interest in continual improvement in the arts. Music is a staple in this student's life and will continue to be after graduation. This student has been to ILMEA District Festival a handful of times. He has participated in solo and ensemble. He performs with the Carnival Municipal Band in the summer and has performed in the All School Musical Pit. He and I have had many back and forths about pieces of music to listen to, whether they are avant-garde or classics. He is a leader in the classroom and shows true passion for his art. This year's John Philip Sousa Award goes to Alexander Poe. I do have a choir award to give out as well. This is the National School Choral Award, and this award goes to a senior choir member who has shown exemplary, exemplary um, learning in the classroom and inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. This person has been in choir with me for a year now, and she has done amazing things since being in the choir. Um, she shows understanding of choral activity and will do amazing things in the future with choir and without choir, even musical theater. This award goes to Regan Carty. to recognize um, the seniors that have dedicated their um, journeys to this program and their, their lives to this program since they've been in the program since we started. Um, when I say your name, could you come up and stand for a picture? I'm going to say a little blurb about them too. I had them fill something out. The first person, the first senior, is Regan Cardi. Regan has been in band for six years and choir for one. Her plans after school is to go to Blackburn and major in pre-vet and minoring in theater. Her favorite memory has been um, just all the friends that she's made in the six years. She says, I've made friends with people I never thought I would. Reagan Cardi. Our next senior is Darcy Cummings. Darcy Cummings has been in band for six years after school. Um, she hopes to attend Swick in Belleville for Gen Eds, and her favorite memory in band has been Pep Band. Darcy Cummings. <laughs> Our next senior is Jonathan Stillwell. <laughs> Jonathan has been in band for four years. Um, after high school, he's planning on going to trade school and doing music as a hobby. His favorite memory has <laughs> was being forced to hear the other flutes sing horribly during field practices. <laughs> Jonathan Stilwell. <laughs> no, that was good. <laughs> Our next senior is Clara Gray. has been in band for seven years. After school, she's going to Olivet Nazarene University for interior and architectural design. Um, her favorite memory is being able to lead the band as drum major and play so many cool songs. Guardian might be one of her favorites so far, and you'll hear that tonight. Claire Gray. Our next 
senior is Christopher Lack. Christopher has been in band for seven years. After school, he's going to the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign for civil engineering. Um, his favorite memory of band is playing pet band this year for basketball. The music was fun, and I got in for free. <laughs> Christopher Lack. <laughs> Our next senior is Patrick Dunn. Patrick Dunn has been in band for seven years. After school, he is going to Illinois State University to double major in elementary education and musical theater. His favorite memory um, was junior year. Cooper Fullington was teaching the underclassmen how to march. That's a good memory. Patrick Dunn. Our next senior is Trace Cummings. Yeah. Trace Cummings has been in band for seven years. After school, he plans to go to college for chemistry and study music. I plan on also being in a band of some sort while there. I do not have, uh, he does not have a specific memory, um, but some of his favorite moments were marching band and pep band at the football games and basketball games. Trace Cummings. Our next senior is Matthew Dunn. Woo! Matt has been in choir or band, sorry, not choir, band for seven years. After high school, he plans to go to the University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign. His favorite memory was going to New York on the band trip. Matthew Dunn. Our next senior is Amaya Emery. Amaya has been in band for seven years and in choir for two years. After school, she plans to become a clinical psychologist with a specialty in drug and alcohol counseling. Um, her favorite memory was marching band senior nights. Amaya Emery. Our next senior is Alexis Kayla Hare. <laughs> Alexis has been in band for seven years. After school, she plans to go to Lewis and Clark Community College. Her favorite memory was her first show as drum major because she had accomplished, she had achieved what she had worked so hard for. Alexis Kayla Hare. Our next senior is Jack Reeves. I see he's got a fresh cut for the occasion. <laughs> he's been in band for four years. Um, after school, he plans to attend Lewis and Clark for automotive technology. Is that what it's like? Technology. Um, his favorite memory was um, he, him and Matt Dunn running it up at the big house on West Main every Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Our next senior is Xander Poe. Xander has been in band for seven years. After school, he plans to attend Blackburn College for a degree in biology. His favorite memory um, of band is going to the New York trip and exploring and losing track of Beamer than having to go on daily Beamer scavenger hunts. Xander Poe. Our next senior is Dylan Meyer. Dylan has been in band um, since the sixth grade, so I guess that's, what, seven years now? Um, he plans on, after school, he plans on going into the Navy right after high school. His, yep, that's, you can applause, that's fine. <laughs> His favorite band memory is when the band went to New York. Um, he said he had a lot of fun and um, 
It's something that he will always remember. It's Dylan Meyer. Our next senior is Canyon Talkington. Canyon has been in band for seven years. After school, he plans to become a voice actor. Um, his favorite band memory was getting to play some really good songs. Canyon Talkington. And here are some of our choir seniors. Jamie Cruz. Jamie has been in choir for two years. After school, she plans to take a year off because she's undecided on what she wants to do. That's valid, I understand that. Um, after, or her favorite memory of choir was, there are way too many um, to just pick her favorite. Jamie Cruz. Our next senior is Jesse Michael. Jessie's been in choir for three years. After high school, she plans to go to a trade school or community college. Her favorite memory were the conversations that she had um, and the memories that were shared. All of the students have helped me become better, she says. Jessie Michael. Our next senior is Shelby Parnell. Shelby has been in choir for two years. After school, she plans to go to college to major in early childhood education. Her favorite choir memory is singing karaoke and doing just dance in class. Shelby Parnell. Our next senior is Kaylee Poplington. Kaylee has been in choir for two years. Um, after school, she said she's not totally sure, but she wants to keep singing. Her favorite choir memory was getting better at singing throughout the time she's had in choir. Kaylee Poplington. And our last senior is Zoe Valdry. Zoe has been in choir for one year, and her plans after high school are to get her CDL at LLC. Um, her, one of her favorite memories was when we, they got to play Just Dance in class. Zoe Bowdry. Congratulations to all of our seniors. If you want to take a picture, go ahead.